Hi, I'm Sean from DishonorableSpeechAndPolitics.com, and it's time for my fourth episode of How to Say It More Honorably, in which I take recent speech by a politician and suggest a more honorable way to say it. Today, I'll look at an excerpt of a briefing by President Joe Biden on March 29, 2021, on U.S. COVID-19 response and vaccine distribution. Note that I've underlined what I think some of the dishonorable speech issues are. After talking about some governors and local leaders dropping mask mandates, Biden said, The failure to take this virus seriously, precisely what got us in this mess in the first place, risks more cases and more deaths. Look, as I do my part to accelerate the vaccine distribution and vaccinations, I need the American people to do their part as well. Mask up. Mask up. It's a patriotic duty. It's the only way we ever get back to normal, to cheer together in stadiums full of fans, to gather together on holidays again safely, go to graduations, weddings. Before I give you more precisely the dishonorable speech categories I identified, here's my suggested more honorable version. I believe we should all be taking precautions against this virus very seriously, because if we don't, we risk more cases and especially because we risk more deaths, possibly of people close to you or someone you care about. The government will be working to accelerate the rate of vaccinations, and I'm asking you, the American people, to please, please wear your masks so that we can all help each other fight the spread of this disease. And I believe each time you mask up, we're a step closer to getting back to normal, to cheering together in stadiums full of fans, to gathering together on holidays safely, and to going to graduations and weddings. Now, what have I done here? Well, I've removed the assumption of bad beliefs or intent, dishonorable speech category number 12, in the words failure to take this virus seriously and patriotic duty, which implies that if you don't mask up, you're not patriotic. Saying it's a patriotic duty could also be considered condescending, I believe, and therefore could inspire defiance against the message. I've also removed the opinion offered as fact in seriously and what got us in this mess. And finally, I've removed the misrepresenting of reality as masking up may not be the only way to get back to normal. Massive testing could be another way, for example. I've also added in my own attempt to make the words more inspiring to people to take precautions. And here again are the original excerpt and my suggested more honorable version. I hope this example helps you see how politicians could possibly say things more honorably. Thank you for watching.